the beyond, beyond me, I don't understand why I can't be with her. I can't be with her. She loves me and I love her. Forced apart after 68 years of marriage. I don't know what to do. Alf and Hetty Craster were briefly reunited this morning. But tonight, the great-grandparents have been separated again. How do you explain to uh, an 87-year-old and an 89-year-old that a system that doesn't even know anything about them wants to keep them apart? It's wrong on so many levels. Hetty has dementia and lives at an Armadale nursing home. Alf was living in a self-care unit at the same facility until he had a fall and was moved to Fremantle Hospital. Now Alf also needs around-the-clock care and wants his wife close by. We're not asking them to magic a bed up out of nowhere. We're asking them to prioritise his placement. That's all we're asking. Alf's been on the waiting list for six months, but his health is deteriorating. We were told by the CEO of the nursing home um, that the next placement would be given to a funded resident, and my father's not funded. I love her, and I, I, I've no shame in saying that. People say they don't love their wife. I love her. I love, really and truly love her. An online petition calling on the Federal Minister for Ageing, Ken Wyatt, to intervene has over 3,000 signatures. Mr Wyatt says he's concerned and his thoughts are with the family. He's demanded a report on the case immediately. All right. See ya. Let's go. 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 Kelly Williams, Nine News.